Hey everybody, it's Larry from Llama Index here today to show you how to use Llama Extract, which is part of Llama Cloud, to perform real world financial tasks. So first we are going to go to our extraction section of the app where I have already set up an extractor. You'll be able to see here uh, the schema that I have given it. There's a filing info section with filing type, filing date, fiscal year, fiscal quarter, etc. And then there's a key risks section with categories, titles, descriptions, and potential impact. The type of documents that we're going to be parsing with these are 10Ks, annual reports from major corporations. I, unsurprisingly, have a couple of those lying around to test with. So let's drop one in there from Apple and run the extraction. This can take a little while. You can see the extraction job is being created. It's parsing a file. We will just wait. So what's happening under the hood is we've created a schema that can be reused as many times as we want to parse a document. And we can see here the results of a parsing. It follows the schema exactly. So we've got filing info, filing type, filing date, reporting period, and then an array of risks with descriptions and categories. Cool. So now we know that our extraction works on one file. Let's look at an app I put together that is built to work across lots of files because that is the joy of Lava Extract is that once you've got it working, you can parse lots and lots of files. So here I'm going to drag and drop a set of 10 files and it is under the hood going to send all of them to Lama Extract and let us know as they get parsed. These particular files are going to parse a little bit faster than they usually would because I just parsed them a couple minutes ago. So they are already in the Llama parse cache. So you can see they are beginning to pop up on the completed. If I click view JSON, we can see exactly what we got back from the results. So we got a run ID and we got all of the same stuff that we got before. Filing info, key risks, that kind of stuff. Let's just wait for that last file. You can see down here, the app is listing out as text the risks so that we can make sure that they make sense. Now that everything is completed, I am going to hit the summarize button. What this is going to do is it's going to take the full text of all of these risks in these years and send them to the LLM and ask it to find out what has stayed the same, what has changed, and what risks are no longer mentioned. This, as you can imagine, would, is useful if you are doing financial analysis. What does this corporation, in this case it's Apple, think is important? So ongoing risks, legal proceedings, supply chain, regulatory compliance, new risks, App Store business model changes, App Store litigation, and then risks no longer mentioned, tax rate changes, stock price volatility, credit risk and investment portfolio. This is a real task that a real financial analyst would have to perform, and we've done it in 30 seconds using the power of Llama Extract and LLMs. Cool. That's it for today. Hope this is helpful.